Thoughts 23 here. Today's night therapy is that time again. We have a new Jack Wolf knife. And this is going to be the low drag jack. And man, oh man, to my surprise, and I mean to my surprise, there is something special about this. But here's the knife. Now this is just first impressions. I got lucky and got that beautiful um, camo carbon, I think that is. It's either fat carbon or camo carbon. I think that's camo carbon though. Absolutely stunning. I was hoping if I got one of the carbons, I was I was crossing my fingers because I love this material. It's definitely not gonna my my lighting's definitely not gonna do it justice. Hopefully it's coming across decently. Um you can still it's not as easy, but you can still get the pinch if you're like me. I don't I don't really uh like using my nails. And here's the open profile. Right off the back when I open this. Uh, I, I'm not certain because I haven't started the testing yet, but I think this thing is going to perform outstanding because the way this, the way he designs the blades, the blades canting in that direction down, you have this big old belly right here. Well, it's going to almost act as a recurve in this portion. So when you're cutting that deeper part is going to get deeper and deeper into the material, just like a recurve would do. It's not going to trap stuff as, as easy as a recurve, but uh, yeah, nice and thin. This is going to be an outstanding slicer. Um, beautiful, beautiful blade there. And what's that surprise I was talking about? I had to do a double take on this, but look at this, people. Hopefully, it's going to come, come through. It's trying to focus on everything else. S90V. I had no idea. Um, he might have said it on his Instagram, but I try not to, to look at that till after I review the knife. Um, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to start testing this and see how well it performs. Um, yeah. One thing I did notice as soon as I, I opened it is... I wish you could see right here, it's already got a smile going on from the original sharpening. And I'm sure it's the way they're they're having to hold this to sharpen this. Um, I wish it could be brought this, I mean, the, the shape of that's perfect. Just wish it could be brought up a little bit and then go up like that. Give you a little bit more sharpening life before that starts to happen. Now, I don't know, like I said, because I haven't sharpened this. Um, that may be something that's going to happen. But I do think it's into that plunge plunge grind. Let's see if I have any paper so we can test the sharpness. i got a piece of phone book paper right here. This is, this is ancient, ancient material, huh? Y'all remember back in the day when you had phone books? Yep, nice and sharp. Nice, look at that. Nice, clean, slow cut. No pressure whatsoever. Super sharp. Yeah. I'm going to probably start testing this one tonight. Um, let's get some quick size comparisons. This is, you know, the same mold. You have the beautiful, big, gigantic uh, microfiber. That beautiful artwork. Look at that. Is that Miami Vice? Love it. Absolutely. It's my favorite. It's my favorite uh, 10 so far. That is awesome. Then you got the, the awesome swag right here. And you have your, uh, your, your leather sheath. High quality sheath here. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the other knives. I'll, I'll kind of zoom in a little bit so you can have a good idea. Let's see. Here it is next to the Midnight Jack. So if it's not identical in overall length, it's very, very close to the length of the Midnight Jack. The, the last one that was released, the Venom. I'm still loving this one. Loving it. And my neighbor picked one up too, so I didn't feel bad from for not giving him mine. <laughs> he wouldn't have accepted it anyway, but there you go. So definitely 
uh, closer or probably the exact same uh, overall length as the Midnight Jack. Uh, Venom's a little bit larger than both of these. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, see, I even, <laughs> I did this myself. I was like, maybe maybe that's just a typo or maybe it, they just smudged it. But yeah, definitely yeah, S90V. And that doesn't surprise me because he said he was going to try to uh, work with some other steels. And I I don't, I know I've never owned a, uh, a slip joint in S90V. I'm sure they have some. Uh, they do. It's not many. I can promise you that. Unless it's uh, modern traditional. But yeah. What do y'all think about that? Are y'all excited? I love S90V, especially if it's done right. It's an excellent steel. Uh, it's not, not terrible to sharpen, especially if you're using diamonds to sharpen with. Uh, the walk and talk on this one is pretty stout. Not in a bad way, I'm sure in a good way, but definitely nice and stout. Yeah. So if y'all want to see more of this, uh, stay tuned. I usually drop it either a few days before the drop or right before the drop. So y'all y'all be ready if you decide if you want to buy one. Perfect centering, like always. All right, there you go. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.